everyone it's diva d back with another video so today i'm just gonna show you a little quick i wouldn't necessarily call it a tutorial i just recorded myself doing some jumbo knotless braids on, on my girl natalie not the brat she also in one of my other videos had installed my ginger wig so um yeah i'm just doing a quick little run through on how I do my knot list and you'll be able to see up close and personal how I get my parts clean and how I feed in the hair for my hairstyles. I typically feed in three to four pieces depending on how the size of the braid is looking when I'm braiding it down. Um, normally I like to feed in three pieces but I fed in a few like I think I fed in at least four pieces with this just because it's a jumbo style so I wanted it to get a little bit thicker as we went down the braid. They turned out really good too she ended up loving them. This is her first time getting her hair done by me. We were doing trade services. So she got these braids done and then she installed that ginger wig, like I said in an earlier video that I had posted. And she did her thing and I would like to think I did my thing as well with hers. And those of you that are wondering where I got this hair rack from, it was off of Amazon. Um, I tried to find the link to it earlier and had trouble finding it. I'll try and find the link to that hair rack and try and see if I can send it to you. I only paid $50 for that hair rack, which I thought was a deal. It came with more pegs, but I broke some of them off um, from traveling with it and my son messing with it. Yep, here she is looking at them. I know she loves them. And I'm just gonna go in also and touch up her edges. Make the style look a little bit more crispy. I just use regular Shine and Jam for braiding hair, the yellow jar. I'm not a big fan of trying out other um, jams or gels for braiding. I like the Shine and Jam because it still has that wet feel. Um, anything that's too dry kind of gives it a waxy feel and I feel like it leaves a residue. Um, I feel like it's hard to work with. I feel like when I'm using it, it, it makes it tougher for me to braid people's hair. But yeah, so this is the finished look. She loved it. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this short little video. I hope you guys like and subscribe to my channel and be ready for more videos because they're coming your way.